I believe that we as instrumentalists are constantly searching to find the balance between developing skills, practicing those skills, and then using those developed and practiced skills to perform at the highest level possible. Take, for example, the idea of visualization. Okay, you see, one evening while a student at Juilliard, I, I ran into my friend Shlomo Mentz who said, Billy, guess who's performing at Carnegie Hall tonight? I had no clue, and he said, Dietrich Fischer-Disco. I said, that's wonderful. And Shlomo said that he's singing Brahms lead. Knowing how much I admired Disco, Shlomo then asked if I wanted to go with him. I reluctantly declined, exclaiming that I had no money and had a lesson with Mr. Lee in the morning and did not feel prepared, so I needed to practice. He responded with, Billy, George Damus is the pianist. And then he said, we would get in free, so I finally decided to attend with him. As Shalomo promised, we were able to enter without charge and we had great seats. The performance was incredibly beautiful. At one point, though, I turned to whisper something to Shlomo and saw that his eyes were closed. I immediately gave him a swift nudge and, it, and, then, and then said, So you brought me here and you go to sleep? He replied, He was not sleeping, but had closed his eyes to better imagine what we'd have to do with his bow to make the sounds he was hearing. We need to understand that our minds basically think visually using pictures and images. You see, our subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between something real and something vividly imagined. So whatever picture you constantly, consistently think about will drive your actions to create that exact picture. Using visualization has stuck with me ever since. Whenever I come in contact with something that I wish to learn how to do on the violin, or, or I want to, 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 to play, or I want to create, I close my eyes and imagine what I would have to do to produce it. These videos are centered around the ideas found in this and other concepts, my experiences, the many ideas passed on to me from Stephen Clapp and Dorothy DeLay, and all the other influences I've had during my 50 plus years of teaching. So take care and I hope that you enjoy taking this visual journey with me. Oh yes, I publish new videos on this channel on a regular basis so to keep up to date, subscribing and turning on notifications is highly recommended. Ciao.